Good morning. It's Wednesday, December 15th, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, The Weight of Being in Control, and our scripture is Luke chapter 7. To what can I compare the people of this generation, Jesus asked. How can I describe them? They are like children playing a game in the public square. They complained to their friends, we played wedding songs and you didn't dance. So we played funeral songs and you didn't weep. For John the Baptist didn't spend his time eating bread or drinking wine and you say he's possessed by a demon. The Son of Man, on the other hand, feasts and drinks and you say he's a glutton and a drunkard and a friend of tax collectors and other sinners. But wisdom is shown to be right by the lives of those who follow it. Did you ever notice a crowd is impossible to please? In a football stadium, whenever the referees throw one of those yellow flags in the air, they've judged that one or more of the players have done something outside the rules of the game. And every time, they make half the people in the crowd happy and the other half fighting mad. It just depends on which side you want to win. You cannot please a crowd. Whether you're in the crowd or on the field, the weight of being in control of things raises an elevated level of possibilities for good or evil. Jesus had just gotten done teaching the crowd that John the Baptist's ministry of proclaiming God's salvation through repentance was right. The crowd was pleased. But the Pharisees, lurking in the shadows, had other ideas. They began sowing seeds for a crop of discontent among the people and making plans to take Jesus down. There's a worn-out phrase that describes what the Pharisees wanted from Jesus. You go along to get along. They wanted this son of the carpenter to get in line with their brand of thinking and authority. They considered themselves the referees who were in control of what people could do or even think. They knew best. And every time Jesus wouldn't dance or cry to the tunes the Pharisees played, they kept score. The game was getting lopsided, so they decided to kill him. For the Pharisees, being in control was everything. Without their elaborate robes and sashes and artifacts and rituals, they wouldn't be noticeable. And they wanted that fame and the attention that went with it all. This Jesus, a nobody carpenter's son from a small town, was ruining everything. The weight of control is tied to the weight of vested interest. If change will cost you what you want to keep, the tendency of selfishness will be to resist. The larger the personal stake, the more intense will be the level of resistance. Fame, notoriety, fortune, and self-gratification are intoxicating, to say the least. It's difficult to read this account of the shoving match the Pharisees created, trying to limit Jesus' effect on the crowds. Those people were the Pharisees' home team, and this upstart country bumpkin was not going to take away what belonged to them. The battle was joined at this point, and it would get as ugly as it needed to be for the control mongers to keep it together their way. For you today... One benchmark of true Christian discipleship is the absence of control. It's known as the surrendered life. You enter God's salvation that way, surrendering control of your life by confessing your sins to God and placing your faith in Christ and His blood sacrifice on your behalf. And God does the forgiving and saving. Wanting to be in control of any of that negates your confession. Confessing is admitting that you are not in control, God is. And that is a weight that's wonderful to get off your back. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.